Well, I don't think you ever get happy unless you really work hard. Okay, so working hard is important. I, when I was in the meat business, I was there at four in the morning and I was there on Saturdays and I lived through it and I didn't think about it, oh, poor me, you know, why are you working so hard? No, I mean, it was just, it was an instinct that I had. And now as an entrepreneur, I expect people to put out 110%. And if they don't, then I feel they don't care. That they, they, they don't want to improve. Next is I, what I've learned is that it's a lot easier if you have fun or passion in picking out a business that you enjoy and that you yourself know that you're good at. And no, number three is never give up on yourself. Okay? I occasionally go get down on myself. That's where spirituality comes in. You all need something, and whether it's your spouse or yourself or your best friend, to tell you, you know what, you're okay. And sometimes it takes one little step to turn that darn thing around, and then it, it happens, okay? And then things get better, and then you, you then believe in yourself that you can get there. I don't care whether it's a football player or a baseball player, you have to have those, those kinds of things in an in a individual sport, but it, those are still team sports. And everything has to work together as a team. So you gotta be a team player as well. But you will find that these things will come to you if you work hard and, this is more than three, but it, it's having your eyes open and not being afraid to ask. My friend, this last, one of my closest friend owns a company, he's the chairman, CEO of a company called the Willis Group. They're like the second or third largest insurance broker in, in the world. He just made a deal to change the name of Sears Tower to Willis Tower in Chicago, okay? And everybody asked, well, Joe, how did you get that done? You know what he told me? You just have to ask. People don't ask, okay? Well, ask with a lot of zeros. Well, no, here, here's the deal he made, but still people wouldn't even ask sure. for that. They needed people in that building. So he brought and he took over 140,000 square feet. That's number one. But number two is he made a deal with the owners of the building because they wanted a million dollars a year in naming rights. And he said, if you give me a million dollars of business outside of, of the Sears Tower, because they own buildings in New York City, he said, I will pay as much business that you give me, I will give you that much in rent, up to a million dollars. And if you give me nothing, I'm paying nothing. And they agreed to that. But it's a matter of figuring it out, being creative, and not being afraid to ask. Okay, so that's, that's the thing you learn, but you're afraid to, to use. 